carrera solo sabe tomar un rumbo ascendente. To all the fans, thank you for making this possible. We love you. Thank you. Gracias. Y encima de todo, con esa sonrisota, consigue lo que quiere. On the road, in the bus, in your bunk, her laying right next to me and her telling me her dreams and what she wanted. Era una persona con muchos sueños, con muchos metas, muchas cosas, mucha vida. Gradual, growing process. It's not like it came overnight and I'm like, I can't handle it. And she was always amped up. She had energy that I don't know where it came from. you could look at her little heart and open two little doors on her heart, there would be the sunshine right in that heart. I love you all. Thank you, the fans also, because without y'all, I wouldn't even be here. I love you. Almost everybody that she was signing autographs for, she'd tell them something nice. She'd find a compliment. She would always find something nice to say to everybody that was there. Muchas veces decía... Mi hijito, un día te van a pescar de la mano y te van a jalar para abajo. Era una persona que irradiaba alegría. El encuentro con ella era como así, un amor a primera vista. Y todavía no aprendí muy bien. Y pensé, Jesús, Selena, si te caes, vas a estar tan embarazada. No te caes. Ella tenía esa gran humildad. Es una rara cualidad en los humanos, es incluso más rara en los artistas. I firmly believe in the saying, the impossible is, is always possible. Selena's voice was a key that unlocked the hearts and minds of millions. Selena, your voice was heard, and tonight, tomorrow, and for the rest of our lives, we honor that voice by continuing to blaze more trails for more Latinas in honor of you. She was the first one that hit everybody's soul at the same time. The Puerto Rican community, the Mexican community, the Chicano community, when she died, she became part of our soul. People still love her, still, you know, want to hear from her, and we remember her. We don't want to forget her.